wanted to dedicate a church in one nation of the world. I won't mention the name because the whole world is listening. As in one of these powerful nations of the world. My children have built a very beautiful edifice. They've asked me, when will you be around to dedicate? I've given them a date. And then they made the announcement, you know, they began to advertise. And a senator, one of the powerful men in the area, heard about it and wrote to them and said, over my dead body, will you dedicate this church? So my children contacted me, Daddy, what do we do? Do we postpone the date of the dedication? Some people are suggesting that we go to court. Some people are doing this. Or maybe if we postpone it next year, we will have time to fast and pray. I smiled. You see, when the battle is too big for you, you don't need to fight. You just relax. Let God do the fighting. I told my children, I said, the date remains. What are we going to do? Nothing. Just keep on praising God. Well, a week before the day of dedication, big senator was getting dressed to go and get a permanent injunction against us so that the church would never open. And as he was getting dressed, he had already put the left, left leg on the left side of the trouser. And for one funny reason or the other, he puts the right leg also in the same something. <laughs> and while he was struggling to free himself, he fell, knocked his head against something. By the time they took him to the hospital, he was dead. Somebody said, Pastor, you mean you killed him? I said, no, I, I mean. <laughs> he said over, he's dead. <laughs> and so I'm decreeing this morning. All those who say you will not reach your goal. You will attend their funerals. <laughs>